NBC 15 weather with Chief Meteorologist Thomas Keyboy. Good evening, Gulf Coast. We're going to get you caught up on Hurricane Milton, an extremely powerful Category 5 hurricane with winds of 180 miles per hour and gusts upwards of 220 miles per hour. It just became a hurricane yesterday, and we've seen that explosive rapid intensification, and you can just tell on the visible satellite right before we get to sundown. Here's the latest forecast track from the National Hurricane Center shows that we could see some additional strengthening through this evening. And as we go through the next few days, it'll start to work its way towards the west coast of the Florida Peninsula, and you can see the wind speeds going down, so this will technically be weakening, but this is still expected to be an extremely powerful storm by the time it makes landfall, most likely sometime late Wednesday, early Thursday. The National Hurricane Center thinks we could see a landfall between Cape Corral and up towards Cedar Key with Tampa being in between those spots where we could see a landfall there as well with winds upward of, of upwards of 125 miles per hour before it works its way back into the open waters of the Atlantic becoming a post tropical system. But you can see that the entirety of the Florida Peninsula is included within either tropical storm warnings, hurricane warnings or also those tropical storm watches and those hurricane watches. So this is going to be a very impactful storm for the Florida Peninsula. And this is what the latest forecast models are showing anywhere from Port Char Charlotte up towards the Tampa metro area. We could still see some changes to this, so we'll continue to watch that. One of the main impacts that we're expecting when it comes to Milton is storm surge. And you can see this area around Tampa could see storm surge over 10 feet, but basically the entire west coast of the Florida Peninsula could see storm surge over three feet and even on the eastern seaboard between the eastern Florida Peninsula up through up through the Georgia coastline. Maybe storm surge of three to six feet can't be completely ruled out. And anytime you talk about hurricanes, they can bring a lot of flooding rainfall. And that's exactly what we could see across the Florida Peninsula where rainfall could measure over a foot in some spots. But if you were to look further to the northwest to our area, we're not expecting any rain over the next seven days. And that's because a front is moving down to our south. And this is what eventually is going to help steer Milton away from our area. So as we go through the next several days, this front staying down to our south will allow us to have some fantastic weather throughout this work week while Milton unfortunately works its way over towards the Florida Peninsula. And we'll show you that here on the forecast tracker. I'm going to start this at six o'clock this evening. Here's the front that we were just talking about. And as we go from tonight into tomorrow, you'll notice that we're just going to see mainly a mix of sun and clouds as Milton starts to come into the picture on the bottom portion of your screen. And as we go from Tuesday into Wednesday, it starts to work its way towards the northeast and eventually around the west coast of the Florida Peninsula while our winds will be out of the north could be gusty at times, but in general, we're going to be checking in with mostly sunny skies. Anytime you see something in the Gulf of Mexico, we always feel the indirect impacts and that will be the case here. High risk of rip currents Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We were seeing red flags flying today. That's likely going to be the least the case through our Thursday and that surf will continue to build. And if you're getting out on the open waters, you'll just want to keep in mind it will be rough there at times. And we do have a small craft advisory if you make your way a decent bit offshore. Here's the current view back at home with the Beauravage Tower camera looking at mostly sunny skies, a really pretty evening taking shape here along the central Gulf Coast. Tonight, overnight lows will be downright comfortable. How about low 60s for areas along and just north of I-10, while a few spots like Monroeville, Grove Hill, and Millery could see overnight lows in the upper 50s, while closer to the coastline, it's upper 60s and low 70s. These temperatures very close to where we should be for this time of year. Then tomorrow afternoon, daytime highs, mainly low to mid 80s. At some Chamber of Commerce weather, a great morning followed by a pretty comfortable afternoon. We could warm up slightly for our Wednesday with daytime highs more so in the mid to upper 80s and daytime highs start to ease back down a little bit as we round out the work week and move into this upcoming weekend. But I think the graphic that everyone wants to see will be the morning lows over the next five days. So as we talked about tonight, low 60s in Mobile, middle 60s tomorrow night, and you can see those overnight lows potentially dropping even in Mobile to the upper 50s for both Friday morning and Saturday morning when the average is right around 62. Now let's go ahead and switch gears and talk about what else is happening in the tropics. So of course, Milton is the main thing that we're watching, but there are several disturbances and also a couple of named storms out there. We do have a disturbance that as it moves its way towards Bermuda, it has a low 10% chance of developing. Kirk is now a post tropical system. Leslie is still a category one hurricane expected to move into the central Atlantic. And that disturbance coming off the coast of Africa still has a low 30% chance of developing within the next seven days. At this particular point, there are no foreseeable tropical threats to our stretch of the Gulf Coast. On the seven day tracker, daytime highs mainly going to be sitting in the low to mid 80s over the next several days, overnight lows in the 60s. Then we see that really comfortable weather take shape as we go from Friday into this upcoming weekend.